if you just look back in time, digital was 1.0. So what happened was that if you look back at movies, the earliest movies were created, they were very much theater-like, because that's all the people knew. So they would actually have a set where everybody was there on the set. They would not zoom into individuals and they were almost recording a theater play. So web 1.0 was just putting magazines on the internet. Then web 2.0 came, the interaction started. And basically what happened was social media came up and user generated content came up and companies like Twitter and Facebook became large companies. But now what's happening is web 3.0 is coming in. Web 3.0, the biggest difference is that there may be platforms where there may not be any company. So imagine there is no company, like Bitcoin is not a company, but still the market cap of the platform, because now the users become an own and the people who are part of the community in a way own that platform. The users own their own data, while most of the other web 2.0 platforms, the users are the data. So imagine if Uber was there, and what if all the drivers of Uber sort of owned Uber? Can you imagine the experience you would have in that company? How much wealth they would all end up creating? What kind of service they would all give? And all of them would collaborate with each other to make sure that the platform, the valuation of the company keeps on increasing. So Web 3.0 is an insane concept and it's going to be very, very exciting. And I think companies need to prepare for it because the thing is, if you don't understand what sort of a metaverse is, or you don't understand what blockchain is, or you don't understand exponential technologies, your company will get disrupted sooner than later. It's important that we start reading up on this and improving the digital fitness of every single person who works in any kind of a company.